so you want to make the trip from Portland to Seattle, I suggest stopping at a few places along the way. This is how you should do it. First, leave from Portland. Head toward Mount St. Helens. It's pretty much on the way. Get there early. Maybe even camp out in your car. Enter the blast zone. That's where you'll get the best view. It's going to rain. A lot. Okay, I think we're ready. Take a couple trails. Unfortunately, it was pretty overcast while I was there. Hopefully you'll get lucky and you'll see a lot more views like this. So unfortunately, the peak of Mount St. Helens has been covered all day. I've been waiting to get a good shot for you guys, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Take a pit stop to see Bigfoot in this A-frame house that survived the eruption of 1980. <laughs> After spending the day in the park, head back to I-5 and continue north. In a couple hours, you'll reach a little town called Winlock, where you'll find the most incredible thing. Okay, you guys, so I've traveled all over the world. I've seen many things, but I've never seen anything as incredible as this. The world's largest egg. This is the largest egg in the world. The egg is 12 feet long and 1,200 pounds. That's a big egg. Winlock was the second largest egg producing town until the late 1950s. The local egg pride still remains strong. When you're done with that, you'll be right next to the entrance to Interstate 12, which will bring you straight to another volcanic national park, Mount Rainier. If you have the time, I suggest camping out and spending a day here. Take a hike and find a spot to admire the view of the highest mountain in Washington. Oh, and there are some pretty good waterfalls, too. Now get back to the five, and you'll be getting closer to Seattle. But there's another odd stop. Stop in Tacoma. It's on the way because there's a giant coffee pot that you can drink coffee in, and eat in, and party and drink in if you so desire. Java Jive has been here since 1927. I actually forgot to stop here. Next, if you're into music, I mean specifically classic rock, pay a visit to Jimi Hendrix. So this might not interest everyone, but we're at Greenwood Cemetery, where Jimi Hendrix is buried.
Looks like he's still got it. So that might be enough. In less than an hour, you'll be in Seattle where you can see a wall of chewed gum, admire a big spaceship on a stick, and drink at the original most famous coffee shop in the world. But we'll get to that in the next video.